Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we will explain how to work out fixing of rolled steel angle with a precast concrete slab to an existing wall. The existing wall made up of dense concrete blocks that measure 440 mm length, 215 mm height, and 140 mm width. Masonry support rolled steel angle 120 by 120 by 10, S275 steel grade. The orientation of angle is leg horizontal. Let's assume we have dead slab load of 4 and imposed load of 2.5 kN square meter. The span of the slab is 1.45 meters. So, first, let's find the shear reaction from the slab. The dead slab reaction on the support steel angle is equal to 4 kN square meter times half 1.45 meters, which equals 2.9 kN per meter. The imposed slab reaction load on the support steel angle is equal to 2.5 kN square meter times half 1.45, which equals to 1.81 kN per meter. So, the total reaction from the slab is equal to 2.9 kN per meter plus 1.81 kN per meter, which equals 4.71 kN per meter. Try fixings at every second block 900 mm centers. So, calculating the load per fixing. The dead load would be 2.9 kN per meter multiplied by 0.9 meters, which equals 2.61 kN. And the imposed load of 1.81 kN per meter multiplied by 0.9 meters equals 1.63 kN. Assume we'll be using Hilti HIT HY70 masonry mortar with M12 anchors and a 80 mm setting depth. According to the Hilti fastening technology manual, the recommended loads for dense concrete blocks, 440 by 215 by 140 are 3 kN for tension capacity and 2.5 kN for shear capacity. The shear capacity of 2.5 kN is clearly less than the total shear of 2.61 kN, plus 1.63 kN, which equals 4.24 kN. As a result, fixings at 900 mm centers are insufficient. Therefore, let's try fixings at 450 mm centers, in the center of each block. Assume the distance from the top of the angle to the bolt centerline is 35 mm. So, the distance bearing point of angle to bolt centerline equals length of vertical leg 120 mm minus 35 mm, which equals 85 mm. Assume that the eccentricity of support angle is 65 mm. As a result, the bending at the heel equals total reaction 4.71 kN per meter times 65 divided by 1000. This gives us a value of 0.31 kN meter per meter. Let's calculate the shear force on the anchor, which equals total reaction 4.71 kN per meter multiplied by the anchor's spacing 0.45 meters. This results in a value of 2.12 kN. That's less than 2.5 kN. The tension force on the anchor is then calculated by dividing the bending moment due to eccentricity 0.31 kN meter per meter by the distance bearing point of angle to bolt centerline 85 mm multiplied by the anchor's spacing 450 mm. This gives us a value of 1.64 kN. That's less than 3 kN. Finally, we need to check the combined shear and tension. Shear force on anchor 2.12 kN, divided by 2.5 kN, plus 1.64 kN, divided by 3 kN. This gives us a value of 1.39, which is less than 1.4. As a result, using Hilti HIT HY70 with M12 threaded rod anchors at 450 centers is acceptable. Thanks for watching. We hope you found some useful tips. 
Check out our website at structuralengineercalcs.com. Please like and subscribe, and let us know what would you like to see next. The human footprint is a masterpiece of engineering and a work of art. Stay safe. Goodbye, and see you soon.